Well, we're outside Ashton Gate, very cold, very wet afternoon, and unfortunately for Bristol Bears, uh, they were defeated today by La Rochelle uh, in their Pool 4 European Challenge Cup encounter. And they raced into a 10-point lead after just 17 minutes, Harry Thacker scoring his sixth try in three games, uh, and Captain Jake Heenan also going over. La Rochelle started to turn the screw uh, towards the end of the first half, uh, and they scored their try uh, to make it 7-10. Uh, with the conversion and only a three-point deficit and just before half-time uh, La Rochelle went into the into the half-time break ahead 14-10 uh, which would have been a hammer blow uh, for Bristol who had looked who had competed reasonably well uh, with a side who were you know in the top three uh, of the top 14 and unfortunately in the second half uh, they really showed their class some lovely scores uh, from multi some of their backs uh, they scored three tries in that second half uh, to go 35-10 up uh, Bristol did fight back uh, and they managed to get themselves a losing bonus. They do take a point from the game. Uh, Charlie Powell, the academy prospect, uh, who was given his debut today, and he managed to get a try on the 76th minute, which could prove uh, really could really help them uh, in the scheme of things. They're now on seven points uh, in their pool. They are in third position behind the Italian side Zebra, uh, who did win today uh, out in Russia. So it does mean that Bristol probably have to go to France next week uh, and take some points if they wish to qualify. Uh, but more importantly for Pat Lamb, the manager, uh, he was more concerned about the performance from the squad. All in all, um, answering the question, I thought, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good effort. And I suppose I said to him at the end, the frustrating thing, there were certainly opportunities to win that game. But we, um, that's the learning we take and, um, and it's good for the development of all that group. As it starts to rain here, uh, Bristol Bears unfortunately defeated, but plenty of positives to take from the game.